Hi folks, it's John from KingstonPowderCoating.com. I'd like to share with you another before video. Um, what we have are some parts for a snowmobile that a client would like to have powder coated. And we're going to be doing two different colors. So we have this piece and these four items that uh, we've cleaned, degreased, and then we've sandblasted. You can see uh, they're nice aluminum pieces and we've sandblasted them nice and clean. Um, so we've got four of those there uh, for, a st for the upper steering section to, rise, uh, to raise up the steering on a, on a snowmobile. And then we have these special grommets. Uh, these are a silicone grommet. So we have some threads um, on each end. And um, it's very, very important because of the thickness, the mill thickness of powder coating, um, it's, it's essential that the items are cleaned properly sandblasted properly and wiped down. You'll notice once again, if you've seen any of our other videos, I'm wearing gloves because I don't want the oil off my hands to come on the product, whether it's steel, aluminum, any product we powder coat, we can't allow the oil or film on our hands to go on the product till after we do the powder coating. So these items for the steering, we're going to be powder coating a high gloss black. Um, if anybody is getting powder coating done, there's some attention to detail that needs to be done and we can see here, I think the camera can pick it up. We have these threaded and they're basically threaded into the housing. So you can see uh, there's threads there and then when the client uh, assembles or bolts it together, we're going to have these uh, half moon pieces are going to bolt on and then we also have it on the other end. So not everyone does it, but it's very important. These things um, aren't inexpensive, but they're very important. These are silicone high heat um, filler tubes, if you will, and they come in different sizes. So now that we have this all cleaned and degreased and sandblasted, we want to make sure that we protect these threads and they come in different sizes. So what we do is we want to make sure at KingstonPowderCoating.com that our client doesn't get upset later when it comes to reassembly. Also in our restoration company, LastChanceAutoRestore.com, we want to make sure that these threads are protected because after this piece is powder coated, if we didn't protect these, it is uh, almost impossible to clean that out. Um, in normal automotive paint, you can use a tap and dye, clean out the automotive paint, uh, but with these items, with the powder coating, it's actually going to be too much of a buildup, and it will cause a lot of grief for the client. They're going to be putting a snowmobile together at their own shop. Um, so we have these items ready, and uh, they're going to be gloss black, as I mentioned earlier. And then we have these aluminum pegs, uh, and they were painted, and they were uh, a black color, I believe, and uh, they were chipped in a not very nice shape. So what we've done is we've also uh, media blasted these in our special cabinet, and we've got the correct grit uh, of media. So what we've done is we've sandblasted these, wiped them with a special solution, and now they're also ready for coating too. And these are going to be um, uh, powder coated a custom yellow color. So what we're going to do is we'll show you in an upcoming video, after we have these components black and yellow, uh, we'll show you what they look like after they're powder coated. Because they look pretty plain right now, um, and they are aluminum, and a lot of people aren't aware that you can powder coat uh, aluminum products also. So we'll share this with you after we have these coated. And I thank you for watching. I'm John from KingstonPowderCoating.com. Hi folks, I'm, I'm back from uh, uh, powder coating these snowmobile parts. So in the previous video we shared with you where we had uh, these two aluminum pegs. Uh, we've now done them in the yellow and then we have the black pieces done. So I have this uh, special light that um, simulates daylight so just to give you an idea so that's fully cured so these are aluminum pegs you saw in the earlier video um, where we had media blasted them and we had treated them and they're all ready for powder so now they're cured so uh, they've been in the oven and so we got both of those pegs this one looks exactly the same as the other one so nice shine you can see how the uh, the powder is leveled out quite well and uh, it looks like a really nice finish and that's just your normal yellow and then we have uh, the steering component. So this is the, the steering, I think they call it a riser bracket. And you can see now I've got dust on it already. Uh, but this is a, a normal gloss black. And i got some fingerprints on it already. And then something that's really important that we shared with you in the first part of the video, and that's these thread holes. If you recall, um, I had the, um, uh, the special little grommets, silicone grommets that go in there and that it protects 
the threads and then once this is baked uh, we remove those so you can see this is going to be perfect for the for the customer to reassemble because we haven't affected the threads at all and then we have these mounting brackets and you can see how nice they turned out and the beauty of it is they're fully protected so you can see it's a full 360 degrees um, all the way around it has this nice gloss black other than my fingerprints all over it uh, but that turned out quite well so those are small little parts for a snowmobile uh, nicely powder coated so they'll be uh, ready to ship out today so just a, a brief update I'm John from Kingston Powder Coating dot com